Hi, this is Stephanie Pickard with Guitar Control, and today we're going to go over a few parts for I Hate Myself for Loving You by Joan Jett. As always, there's tabs below to help you follow along, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell below to get notifications sent straight to your phone or computer when we have a new video up. Alright, let's get started. <laughs> driving and just really memorable. So I start that riff with an E5 power chord rooted on the 5th string. I take my pointer and I put it on that 5th string E note, the 7th fret. Then I take my ring finger and I place it on the 4th string 9th fret and my pinky right under it. I'm doing a 3 string power chord because I want to be able to strum a little bit more and I think it's a fatter sounding chord, it's just fuller. But to you what you want to do, you can obviously also do the 2. I'm just adding in the octave with that 3rd finger, so 2 fingers making the root. And the fifth, if you do that, you have to strum less strings. So only strum as many strings as fingers you have down. I'm also muting the other strings so that I don't have to really take note of what I'm strumming. I can kind of strum everything. So if you want to mute, go ahead and mute, which is just lightly touching every string you don't want to hear. If not, you do have to be really particular and really accurate with your strumming hand. So I go four times. Then to this G, also on the 5th string, 10th fret though, so I move that exact same shape up to the 10th fret. So now I'm on 10 on the 5th string, and then 12 and 12 on the 4th and 3rd string. Same exact shape. And then back to E. So E. once I get to the G, so. It's got that really cool slide sound to it, right? Then, we're gonna go to the D. So it's the same power chord, but now down to the fifth fret. So now on the fifth string, fifth fret pointer, fourth string, seventh fret ring finger, and third string, seventh fret pinky. So we go E being on the seventh fret, same as we did earlier. So then we do a single note part. So this part's pretty cool. It just changes the tone of things a little bit. So we take our pointer and we place it back on that D note on the 5th string, 5th fret. One, two, three. Then use your ring finger to play the 7th fret, 6th string once. Then do it again. And then one time.
down chord shape in a box pretty much. D, D, A, A. So D, D, A, A. So just this little box. So the pre chorus is really simple. It's just three chords G5, D5, and D5. G5 being that power chord shape rooted on the sixth string. So third fret with our pointer. For A, fifth fret again, same thing, B, seventh fret. So it's uh, one measure, one measure, one measure, one measure, two measures. All eighth notes. So it goes. Check out our website, www.guitarcontrol.com. Leave us comments. Let us know what you liked about this lesson, what other songs you'd like to learn, and stay tuned for more videos soon. See ya.